What is going on, everybody? Jumbo Thick here. We are back with the Expedition of the Damned. Our Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th Edition campaign. I'm, of course, your GM, your DM for the night, Jumbo Thick. We have the full cast and crew of the Expedition present. And what a session we had up ahead of us. Um, surely by now, we, we, we know who's playing who at this point. Uh, because I want to get, I want to get right into it. I want to do a brief, a brief, brief recap, and then we're going to just going to slide on into this session. So, um, last we left off, the expedition was making decisions on how to move forward, um, specifically with their ultimate goal of, well, what some of the members of the expedition know of as their ultimate goal, but their current goal of reaching Sudenberg, um, a waypoint um, that's supposed to get them further in their uh, their ultimate um, um, goal. I keep saying goal over and over again. So Regardless, though. Yeah. Yes. So, to do so, the resources that you gather, gathered in your previous um, your previous kind of adventure, if you want to call it that, as well as the favor you curried from the Sultan, um, garnered you a heavily armored um, wagon train, as well as supplies and so on and so forth for a more land-based excursion. Whereas other members of the expedition were pushing for more of a um, ship-based, a sea-based um, excursion. Possibly faster. Not sure if it would have been safer. Um, regardless, though, it would not matter in the end. As as you were all gathering together and um, pooling the expedition's resources, the city of Le Chic, the the city of Corsairs, was suddenly seized by the White Skulls, a savage orc warband that has been raiding this area for quite some time. And they have finally set their sights on uh, Lashik. The siege was very well planned. The city was completely encircled within um, w so quickly that the uh, the Sultan didn't have time to really set out and try to squash the threat before it got too big. In addition to that, it appears that the White Skulls have come into a partnership with the Sand Sneakers, a friendly night goblin tribe that you guys have, well, thought you had dealt with previously that apparently are just keep rearing their ugly little heads back and forth again. And in so doing, they have brought to bear a massive conch, some kind of lure that is able to summon the mighty merworm, the gigantic four-armed um, amphibious creature that emerged in the port of Le Chique and began smashing ships before being driven off by cannon fire only to do it again about every hour or so as the conch is bellowed out. Or out. Keeping the port from um, being a point of escape and a point of uh, reinforcement. There were many other possible threats that you guys could have tackled. Ultimately, you decided on getting a hold of uh, uh, either getting a hold of or destroying the actual conch itself um, in some way, shape, or form. Um, you could have, of course, um, went for uh, the Sand Sneaker's uh, warlord's head, try to break them entirely, which you still might. Um, there also was the somewhat pseudo-artillery that the White Skulls have at present. Uh, giants help in the mountains nearby, throwing massive rocks, boulders into the city, sieging it almost like trebuchets. There is, of course, the boss, uh, Doc Doc Headthumper, if you remember him. 
He is uh, the big boss for the White Skulls. And there was some kind of, um, like, black-shrouded, uh, like, lieutenant sh- shaman character that is uh, supporting the, 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 the war boss and keeping him somewhat organized, which is highly unusual for um, Savage Orcs. So, with that out of the way, currently... After deciding to siege the conch, you manage to repel an ambush at the western gate of the uh, of the city itself, where Dagabos had tunneled underneath the gate and actually sent in bomb squigs to hopefully blow a hole in the city's defenses as a a uh, several bands of actual savage or greenskin were going to flood into the gaps. You thwarted this plan, managed to push off the Greenskins, and then decided in a a kind of a two-pronged attack that you were going to, uh, you managed to convince Commander Dieter Helwig of the Knight's Panther to be a pseudo-distraction as him and the, the remainder of the Knights, with the exception of the Knights that... Jan Henry is um, in charge of now. Set out of the gate and hit the Greenskin Horde um, out, uh, sallied forth, creating a rather large distraction as the crew, which also included several Knights Panther. Um, I, I don't know if you call them full Knights, but they're at least man, respectable individuals. Uh, Henry's your, your real Knight. They're, they're more of his apprentice. And of course, we, we can't forget about the um, uh, the the lovable um, Rory the Rumster that is riding Nog's uh, shoulders right now. But as you set out um, in an attempt to make a beeline towards the nearby hills, where the information you get you gathered from the captain at the gate on this side of the uh, the city said that they believe the uh, the conch is being held yeah. Mr. Wolfram who was scouting slightly ahead missed a rather large trap very well hidden by the gabos I believe and he set it off to protect his colleagues so they didn't fall into it he, he's a hero fell into said trap along with Lucien, who was riding with him. Um, Lucien jumped free of the soon-to-be-dead horse, catching the lip of the pit trap, pulling himself out. As Wolfram was kicked in the head, knocked unconscious, did prevent him from being uh, spit on one of the many spikes and, like, carved trees near the bottom. But, needless to say, the horse died shortly after that, and Wolfram lies unconscious, bleeding, and possibly on death's door at the bottom of said pit. And as soon as this happened, the Sand Sneakers showed their hand as black-fletched arrows were loaded into black bows and little gobbo heads appeared over the, the sides of this almost like a ravine that you guys were crossing through in a kill zone, a death trap a ambush yet again has been sprung and that's where we're going to pick up right now so i am going to need let me grab this i'm not sure how we're going to deal with the situation that's for you guys to figure out not me i just give you the problems (laughs) all right so Okay. There's multiple ways all this stuff can be dealt with. But I assume there's one way that it's going to be dealt with. But uh, before we get into specifics, let's go ahead and let's have everybody roll initiative. D10 plus your initiative modifier, please. Roll for these guys. Ooh, that's not the best. Where's my, uh... 
Oh, there it is. I got a 13, I think. Oh, no, I got a, yeah, I got a 13. Cool. So I got to do that real fast. Sorry, right, hold on. Um, Okay, Wolfram, you got a 13, you said? Yeah. What about... Yeah, no, I'm just going to hold on. What about my, my main man, Lucian? 11th. 11th, Lucian. All right, so how about Henry? Seven. Seven for Henry. All right, Nog, do you have yours? Yeah, it's a 10. 10? 10. 10 for Nog, yeah. all right. It's 7 plus a 3. And uh, Luther? Uh, 7. 7. Which one of you wants to go first, either Henry or Luther? I'll let Henry go first. Henry? Okay. All right, so we'll put Luther in here. Okay. Um, all right, we've got everybody laid out there. So, um, we'll see, we'll, we'll just see how this plays out. Uh, that will determine on how, which, which style of, uh, completing this objective is going to happen. So immediately what has happened is Wolfram has fallen down into the hole. Um, unfortunately Wolfram is going to be first in initiative. Which means that uh, you have two bleeding conditions, Wolfram. Yep. You can use a um, resolve point right now to get rid of a bleeding condition. I think it's wise because I've got to roll. And You're gonna have to bleeding roll. Bleeding condition now. gives me like a ten percent penalty, yes. right? So okay. go ahead and go ahead and roll now. If you okay. roll above a ninety, Wolfram has died, and you yep. will need to probably use a fate point if you have any. Okay. Oh my god. A hundred. Oh. Do you have bad. you do have fortune points, Wolfram? Um that, that's that's terrible, isn't it? It's, it's fine. Just it give up. Be. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> give up. Yeah, you're probably gonna <laughs> have to I'm use your fortune points. <laughs> Alright, uh yeah, I'll use one of my fortune points. Yes. Go ahead and re-roll that, please. Jesus Christ. That's pretty bad. It's the worst thing you can Abandon me. Stupid Stigmar. Oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, much better. Okay. Much better. Okay. Um, normally would be a crit, but for this, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, Wolfram, you survive for one round. For now. Um, you are still bleeding unconscious. All right. That will then bring me to Lucien. Now, Lucien, you are, like, you're gonna have to use your your kind of, like, action to pull yourself up. You're, like, hanging on the yeah. side of the hole, essentially. So, you'll be able to pull yourself up. Um, you're kind of in no man's land. No, no, Nobody else was by you. You could use your movement however you choose. Um, I will say, if you... Uh, if you're looking for cover, the closest cover you're going to be able to get to is if you would, you could try to seek shelter under Nog's large body, somewhat nearby. But other than that, there's not much. Unless you want to try to, I don't know, shimmy down the hole and try to fetch a pull from uh, I will use my action to pull myself up. And how far away is, or how far away are Henry and Luther? their horses so I was the the rest of the expedition isn't too far behind now Henry and the Knights I kind of assumed were somewhat like behind like rear guard is does that does that sound right or no yeah it works for me because I'm gonna need a, a refresher on our terrain layout okay you're currently in like a ravine setup right now um, okay. which is gonna get interesting uh, here in a minute but um, so Henry and his and his um, knights are are pretty good distance away. 
Luther and Nog wouldn't be too far. Nog would be closer. You could get to and him would, within a within a move. And I'd probably move by yeah. Nog. Okay, you move over towards Nog, scrambling away, seeing the the gabos like pull their pull arrows back into bows up on the the tops of each side of this like little this like small ravine that you guys are in. All right, that will then bring me to the Nog. And Nog's not used to going so loose. I know. Yeah, uh, this thing's been pretty slow. Um, I'm uh, what is uh, so I've got. Um, you have a moment to prepare yeah, and prepare yourself on what what you're gonna do. So, we'll yeah, the room. Um, this is like a round to, to prepare for what, what's about to happen. Because an ambush has been sprung at this point. I'm giving you guys a turn to do stuff before it happens. So, Nog, as this has happened, you've seen Wolfram just fall into a pit. Lucian has scrambled um, away towards you. Yeah. yeah, as you hear the the squeaking caws of the all too familiar night gobos on each side of the ravine above you, as you guys were attempting to stay out of sight, and this was the best path that you had discovered to keep you somewhat hidden as you approached the um, possible location of the uh, the conch that you were trying to smash. Um, the ravine's it's a good thing not. I it's, just adjusted me not go there. Eh? Yeah, it's not. It's not extremely deep. But um, each side, you're probably looking at um, probably about 60 feet to the top on each side, and it's 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 a relatively steep incline uh, to get up. You could scramble up, no problem, um, if you want. If that's what you wanted to do, Nog, uh, you would have to pick a side. We'll call it north and south, if that's what you want to do. Well, I reckon I want to protect. Rory. Okay. Rory's on your shoulder. Yeah, we want him to get gummed up in the bombos. Um, and, and of course, you know, Lucian, and you know. Um, I scramble up. I, I wouldn't want to leave Lucian behind. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with him. Okay. Uh, and uh, make sure Rory understands that he right. needs to you know, I'll, I'll give you, under my cloak or something. Yeah, I'll give you like a defensive kind of stance essentially to try to um, yeah. make yourself a bulwark. No problem. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna act as the shield that I'm intended okay. to be. That that is perfectly fair. Um that will bring us then to Henry. Alright, so we're in a ravine. Yes. I would like to get out of said ravine if okay. possible. Yeah. So you, you and your you and your kind of apprentice knights are riding. Um, yes. You, you see the, up, an ambush is uh, yeah. failure. It, it it's pretty bad. Now at the same time, you are like full plate armor, yes. war horses, knights essentially, um, and these are piddly scrawny little night goblins what could they possibly do to you nothing I say yes I want to try to avoid the arrows okay. by going either direction well, pick, a, pick a direction north or south uh north okay um are you giving orders to your men to uh, follow I, I would shout yeah I would shout for them to follow okay. somewhat disperse all right. Um, here's where it's your your stuff with your men is going to get interesting, Henry. I I have uh I have like a rough idea. I have a generic stat block for like a apprentice knight panther kind of set up over here. So what's going to happen is you get to either use your turn to help yourself or to help your men. Well, um, to help them. Okay, well then you, then you can do this by either doing your own stuff by like your, your normal actions, whatever you're going to do, or you can make com a command roll. And how successful you are will determine the bonuses your men will receive. I'm not good at commanding yet. 
Well, so I'm those... probably gonna have to help myself. Okay. All right. So you're going? Are you? You're going to attempt to scale the northern side of this ravine? Try to just get up as quickly as you possibly can. Yes. Now, I mean, this isn't like what? heavy rocks and stuff. This is—it's mostly sand. Um, You're—you should be able to do it. Uh, it's not going to be extremely difficult. You will need to make a um, what is this called? Animal? I think it's just—it's just ride. It's just ride. Yeah, it's just ride. Ride horse. Okay. Make me a ride horse check, sir. We are slightly above half. I got an eighty. Got to re-roll. Uh, go and re-roll that. I'll take it. A twenty. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, three levels. Three levels of success, Henry. You kind of like bellow out to your men to follow you, and you show them in a of a a, a rather impressive display of horsemanship. Uh, three levels of success. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as you quickly um, um, manage to t- take hold of your... I forget your horse's name. Do you remember? Kaiser. Kaiser. As you get a hold of Kaiser, and through the training and instruction you've given him over the past few months, you you pull the reins and have him just set on a, on a course straight up the ravine. You manage to get to the top, surprising um, several of the night gabos as you yes. quickly move the distance. Let's see how your men do. Oh, God. All right. They have a much not so good horsemanship compared to you. But I roll a 14 on the die. Hell so yeah, they're, bro. They're not as, they're, they don't do as well as you. Woo. But they do. They do. They come, they're coming in behind you. They're right behind you, essentially. Um, <laughs> as. Um, Is there a name for the squad? Is it, uh, uh, there's not, we, haven't, we haven't earned a squad I, I, name I yet. I don't think I've earned uh, a name uh, yet. Uh, we but uh, that yet. you do have your your second command is um Audrey. Audrey, yes. Yes. I got names for everybody now. Ba- ba- oh, Joel, we have names for everyone. Okay. Well, I'll have to get those. Baudry the Squire, of course, is right behind you. I am with you, sir. Uh, as he comes up, he comes up beside you, pulling his pulling a, a long sword ready to slice some gobbo heads. Okay. So this that's going to be your initial this is what we're doing as the ambush is about to uh, take place. Luther. It's your turn. What are you going to do, Luther? Um, you are currently on a horse. Yes. Um, I guess that I see Lucian behind as he's, he's behind Nog, right? He scrambled and he's kind of like trying to like somewhat use Nog as cover right now, right at right just right in front of you. Okay. Okay. And uh there doesn't look like a, a rock formation I can behind behind that would like shield me from arrows. Um on your horse, no. For sure. Okay. If you now if you want to try to look for something for yourself, you, you can make oh. it a survive a survival roll if you'd like. Okay. Um, how far away am I from the gabos that are shooting arrows? So there's the the north and south sides of the ravines, and they're each about six about sixty foot at a, a relatively steep um, incline. Oh, they were both sides. Yeah. And Henry just galloped up with his north. He went to side. the northern side. Him and the knights just scaled up the northern side, hoping to break one of the sides. Yeah. 60 feet you say 60 feet yes am I allowed to make attacks sure or am I, am I not allowed to sure um, you are on horse I am on horse that's true I'm is your horse, horse trained for magic it, no it's not let me let That'd me just remind you so mm-hmm. if you use magic while on the horse You'll have to make Spook. a ride a ride test, or it will throw you off <laughs> and what, run away. What what, what, uh, what, uh, what challenge is the horse test? It's it's a it's a it's a it's a regular a zero a, a zero, zero challenge. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, I am mm-hmm. going to. Can 
can't decide if I want to ride up and like grab Lucy by the arm and like charge up the hill. Up um, to you. You could try it. Pretty cool. I'm not that strong. Um, oh. Um, I mean, it is pretty cool though. It, it would be pretty cool. I, I admit. I I think we're gonna risk it, and we're gonna we're gonna cast a fireball. Okay. Last. Um, okay. At the opposite side of. On the southern rim. Okay. Yeah, not not towards Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, crew. Why don't you why don't you give me give me a blast attack, Luther? Let's see how you do. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Hope you fail. I know you do, bro. I know. I want to see your magic uh, blow up in your I'm face. I'm not right going to fail, right? Really. Damn it! I'm, I'm going to succeed. I hate it. <laughs> with a fireball. I hate it so much. <laughs> I overcast by one. I don't see. God, I hate it so much. I'm just gonna right. decimate this oh, Davos up top. Point of success. Six levels. Six levels of success. So I'm three over my success level that I would need. Ridiculous. Um, so that would be a memento. Thank you. Let's see, overcasting. Um. I don't like the smile on your face as you're doing this. Three success so levels. I could do, <laughs> I should, I, you know, I don't know. I could do two times the area effect, which would be 30 feet. That's massive. Okay. Would that be enough to get all the goblins in the, in the blast? It's hard. So <clears throat> it'd be enough to get the majority of what you can see for sure. Okay. Yeah. You're not, you're not sure how many are up there to be completely honest. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to go with that then. Okay. I think go wider range, cause more chaos, rather okay. than add extra damage, probably. All right. Um, How much damage are we talking? That would be... Let's see. Eight, eight damage. Eight damage, okay. All right, do they, they uh, get their toughness? They get their toughness? Yes. They do they get do. their toughness? Okay. Yeah. All right, so let me bring down some of them. Oh, shit. You got a lot of them. Like a lot of them. All right, so let's reset some, some HP here. My program updated that I keep track of all this shit in, so it's like weird now. All right. You got, a, you got a program. You're going digital, bro. No. Well, yes, oh. I have been. Yeah, I know. I've been. I've it's, been using. I've been going. I went to, digital. I know. I used to use papers. paper. I was everywhere. So, yeah, I know. I know. All right. Um, and they're on fire. So at the end of the round, we'll roll a D10 for that. Okay. Yeah. So, um, been an impressive display. Uh, acting very quickly. Uh, I'm somewhat surprised you were able to act so quickly. In fact, Luther was able to, um, in a impressive display, uh, was able to inflict some in serious damage on the on the southern southern attacking force, while Henry is threatening the northern attacking force. Um, I will need young Luther to make a right test. Make a right test. Oh, baby, I crushed it. Are you son of a bitch? Are you sure you're not rolling it. D10s? I'm not sure, bro. I'm sure. I'm just, I'm just good with Dude, eyes. a six? You know, it's uh, well, easy felicity. You know, easy. He, he's able to easy, easily keep his his borrowed horse um, under control as he launches this this massive fire fireball from his from his new enchanted staff. Enchanted um, staff. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Got to talk about it. As I see the the burning figures on the on the, the ridge, I see the, the, glim, the glimmer and the green eyes of Luther. Excited. Of course, yes. As that ends, it is now finally the gobble ambush, ambush is finally going to take place. So, first things first, you guys have set yourself up pr pretty good, pretty quickly, pretty good fashion, I would say. 
Um, the southern force is going to... Okay, the ones that weren't blown up in the, in the initial explosion, those individuals, uh, the ones that were hit with the fireball, are going to uh, put the flames out on their body. Uh, do they have to make an athletics? I think it is. I'll look real fast. I think it's athletics. I think you're right. Blaze. Blaze. Athletics. They have to make an athletics test. Okay, their athletics is not fantastic. It's quite bad, actually. Okay, I'm gonna start rolling. Yeah, because it's based off that. Oh, jeez. Oh, sweet. First one succeeds. Fail. Critical fail. 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 Success. So two successes. Three successes. Fail. 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 Success. Okay. Four successes out of all of those. Sweet. Um... So as they're trying to put themselves out, the majority of them can't. They're just they're burning uh, the, the, too quickly. They're trying to roll around in the dirt. You hear them screaming and crying above. Them. <laughs> as the as the cries um, bellow out into the night sky, the handful of gobos that weren't uh, hit in the blast are gonna loose arrows down below. So we've got um. um Nog, I will say the arrows are either going to go between you or Luther, um, because since you're acting oh. as uh, as a shield for Lucien and for Rory. Oh, I am a shield. So it's either they're either going to they're either going to attack you or Luther. Um, I'm going to roll to see. There's not many of them left. So first one is Nog. Okay, two for Nog, one for Luther, two for Luther. Three for Luther. Three for Nog. All right, four for Nog, three for Luther. All right, Nog. You're fortunately a large target, so they do get a plus 10 to this roll. Nice. Um, Actually, no, plus 20, I think. Plus 20. All right. Um, this is definitely going to hit a roll quite well. Defense. Yeah, there's no there's no defense on this for ranged attacks, oh, unfortunately. It's done correct, no defense. Yep. So, um, with the plus twenty, that puts them at there. It is forty-five. Cool. Uh, sixty-five. So that's. Six degrees of success. It's not going to be good. Um, you're looking at... So this is going to be to the head, Nog? Do you have any armor on your head? Probably not. Uh, just, uh, my, just my mad double hat. Yeah, yeah, that, it doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> you are going to take... 11 points of damage. Uh-huh. As Reduced an arrow... Toughness. Yeah, you can reduce it by your toughness. Slices yeah. um, across your scalp, Nog. Uh, Opening up an old scar. You will all need right, to well. also make a endurance check because it is a poison blade. That did hurt, though. That still stung for six wounds. Um, yeah. And an endurance check? Yes, please. Let me find my endurance and that. Okay, so we Shooting under a 65, fellas. All right. And a 19 will do. No problem. No problem. All right. Second attack. That is going to be... 43, which is just a success. So it's not a lot of damage, and it's going to... And this is to the chest, Nog. So you get to reduce so it by your got. armor. Yeah. yeah, so your gut plate plus your toughness. Um, and you're only you're only looking at five damage. So I have to take one. 
Yeah, you take a minimum of one. But um, since it would have <laughs> yeah, so since it since it negated most of it, I won't have you make an endurance check. It's not. It's just kind of like dented. It didn't really pierce the skin. Oh, um, no, no, one's a little upset about it. who's gone. All right, you've got I two more. Got two more nog. Third shot misses. Jeez. Oh, and the fourth shot misses. So right. well, now we're going to Luther. Oh no! Where is, is Luther nearby too? Does he, does he Luther's getting shot at. He's getting three arrows oh, yeah. shot at him. And he's bound to happen. Here comes oh, Luther. First right. one. Fail miserably. Oh. Second arrow. Um, that is just a success. I think this is going to be an arm. Let me make sure. This it is going to be me unless it's. Yeah, it's well, you know, your right arm. Unless you're going to get crit. a. You're going to get okay. one in the shoulder as you're trying to wheel okay. away. Um, you are going to take. Five wounds, Luther. All right. And you will need to make a endurance check. Oh, that's the part I'm not good at. Eighteen. Passed, no problem. Passed it. Flying colors. Okay. And the final arrow, Luther, fails miserably. Misses. No problem. Oh. Um, ah. Nog, Nog takes two arrows. They uh, one of them plinks off his chest, kind of just like does minimal damage. The other one cuts his scalp pretty decently. But um, after hail of arrow fire, you guys are doing all right. The on the northern side of the rim, where Henry and his knights are charging up. Um, Henry, as you charge up, you notice that there are somewhere around twenty gabos up here on this on this side alone. Seeing you charge up, um, the nearest ones um, loose arrows in your direction immediately. The other ones, it looks like they begin to scatter, and you watch them kind of like running or oh, running away as fast as they possibly can. So the nearest ones to you, you're going to get or ten gabos that are going to shoot at you and your crew. Only two shots are going to be taken against you, Henry. Now, you're on horseback and you're not below them. So it's going to be harder to shoot you than it is to uh, to shoot any of your... Than it is to, like, shoot Luther and them down in the ravine. So there's a massive fail on the first arrow. And another fail on the second arrow. Henry is unscathed, no problem. Plinks off of his uh, shield. I mean, are you you wielding the shield, Henry? Uh, yes, because I have a regular one-handed sword right now. Okay. Yeah, you kind of bring your shield up and easily just deflect two gobbo arrows. Um, the creatures scream out and cry out as you as the impeding hooves look like they're going to trample them to death. And as for your men, it's a hit. Miss. Oh. Hit. Oh. Miss. 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 Hit. Oh. Miss. All right, four hits. <laughs> four hits against the knights. Um. Let's do. Baudry's gonna take two. Uh, Baudry. So. Baudry is gonna take two. Let me hop in here. Alright. Alright. What what is your armor at right now, Henry? Because I'll just I'm just gonna kind of use you as a base for them. Uh, for what part of my body? Um, are you in? Are you wearing chain and plate? Yes, I got okay. it all. So chain and plate is three, correct? For mo- I'm, most, yeah, I'm, I'm current. My body is currently at five. Five. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's because the chest piece is two. Yeah. 
Um, is it? Uh, breastplate is three, and the male shirt is two. That's right. Okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah, the plate, the plate's one more. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So that's five for the chest and four for pretty much everywhere else. Okay. They aren't going to take much with that much armor. That's it's minimal damage even from that. Now I'm going to make an endurance check for Badri. Passes, no problem. Um, one of your other knights, critical fail, poisoned. Oh, no. He takes he takes a single wound from the arrow because it barely gets through his armor, and then he is poisoned as an arrow um, bleeds into him. Okay. All right, I've got that notated. And that's going to be the end of the ambush round. So at the top of the ambush round, um, Henry, since you're up there, you will notice that the gobos up here are, they're scattering to the winds. And um, the ones closest to you look like they're just, they're, they're fighting out of desperation. But the rest of them, you watch as it doesn't look like they're in a full like um, what's it called like panicked retreat. It looks like they have some uniform to what they're doing. Okay, just want to put that down. Mm -hmm. All right, so top of the round, Wolfram. Do you have uh, right. do you have another resolve point? I do. I'd like to use it. So so you I won't have to both my. Bleeding you won't, right? you, yeah, you won't have to make a test if that's the case. Okay. So you have no bleeding conditions. You will you get a fatigue condition because you were okay. bleeding. So Is it two a, fatigue conditions since I had two conditions? No, no it, it only okay. counts. Yeah, it only counts. That was weird. It only counts for yeah, one. No, I saw it too. Yeah, <laughs> it only counts for one. Okay. All right. Um, do I get a single wound back and wake up, or am I still? If, I'm no. trying to remember the last time we did Net, this. So, okay. do you have any more resolve points? No, that's it. Yeah, you're you're just unconscious at the bottom. You don't have to make any death saves. Okay. So once you hit zero, um, to get a wound back, you have to use another resolve point to remove the prone condition. Which Not gives you another happen. wound back, which then wakes you up. But since you don't have any more resolve points, you're pretty much just hanging out in the bottom of the hole right now, Wolfram. But you don't have to make any deaths. I'm sure they'll help me out. You don't know. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. All right. That will bring me then to Lucien. What would you like to do, Lucien? Well... Is Luther now within move distance of me? Sure. Oh, yeah. I think I would uh, probably run up to him and and yell out, Luther, I, I, I fear Wolfram is lost. May I, may I share your mount? And then attempt to to uh, reach out my hand. hand. Yeah, oh, of course. Yes. <laughs> you good. You, you're abandoning me. You mount onto the back of Luther's horse. No problem. Um, you are at his whims now. Um, I won't consider that your action, Lucien. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to do anything else or do you want to like hold an action? Uh, I would probably... I would probably have my... Um, now, now that I'm mounted, I'd probably draw my pistol yes. and have it ready to fire when That's we get like closer. Okay. All right. Lucien draws his pistol, gets ready to fire on anything if they get close. And that'll be it for Lucien's turn. That'll bring me now to the Nog. The big Nog. So Lucien has uh, taken a, uh, a mount. Yes. Attempted. R R Rory um, goes... Oi, big man! Let's see what we can do up there at the top, my friend! 
That's why I reckon we ought to climb this hill there, right? Um, You're the boss. Are we on the north side still? Everyone going up the north? Um, the north side? Uh, Henry and his knights went up, went went up the north, the northern side. No one has okay. gone up the southern side. Luther did nuke them with a fireball. That's true. Uh, I will follow uh, up the north side as well. What would you like? Uh, speaking of which, for me to prove my metal. Um, Luther, roll a d10 real fast. I want to see. I, I, we forgot to do the ablaze conditions. Oh yes. Three. Three. Okay, so that's just one because of the toughness. Okay, got it. Yeah. Plus. Yeah. Plus one. About yeah. four total. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Nog. Yeah. In order to get to the top and be able to do something, I will need you to make a climb roll, my nog. All right. Oh, that's an actual thing. <laughs> it is. All right. <laughs> How convenient. And you're quite good at it. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, we'll see. Oh, that's that's brutal. That's 68? a 68. On I a, think on you're a, still on probably 63. good, though. Oh, you're 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 five like short. A half a point short. <laughs> um, you can use a fortune point to just pass, or you can, if you want to save your fortune point for later in the game, you're gonna you're going to make it to the top. You're just not going just to get do to else. do anything yeah, once you no, get I'll there. Take, I'll, I'll I'll get to the top. And okay, we'll, we'll go from there. We'll okay, you save it. it. You save it. No, you you you, you begin to you begin to scramble up. Rory's on your shoulder, kind of bouncing back and forth. Um, as you get to the top, Nog, you get to the top, and as you do, um, this is where I'm going to introduce uh, a unique action to you, Nog. Yeah. Um, as long as Rory is riding your shoulders. Mm-hmm. He um, at the at the, he he takes a turn at the end of your turn, okay. and he gets to do one of three things. He can either one attempt to pump you up, Nog, yeah. and give you a bonus to one of your four, your next rolls. He can attempt to um, give you a snack which will give you a temporary, well, not really temporary, it'll actually give you like some healing, essentially. Okay, okay. Or, Rory can throw a Molotov at uh, an enemy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he has, he has that right now. Yes. Um, is, there, is there an enemy within Molotov range? Of course, which gives the top. To this. We okay. have to do this. He gives the top and Rory goes, He's, he's, I can just see he's on your shoulder. Riding around, getting it ready. You're on your shoulder. He he pulls something out. He pulls. He's got like here, some kind of flask. some kind of flask. And he, you're like, what's that smell? As he, as you 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 hear like a, a strange flicking noise as he's clacking his his uh, fire starter together, and then all of a sudden, there is a light of a, a, a flaming boy. bottle. Like, boy, and he goes. I see that little gobble scum. Stand steady, boss. Go ahead and roll Thank a D one hundred, Nog. Um, his yeah. his skill Let's is not fantastic, but, but it's not bad. He has a uh, he has to roll under a forty. Sixteen. Oh shit! <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Rory sees one of the nearby gobos, uh, one of the ones that isn't on fire, um, who like takes it, looks at, looks at uh, the giant nog. Yeah, pulls pulls his arrow. He's like ah ah. Then Rory just throws a uh, a fire bomb towards him. Um, it scatters across him. Ah! Um, he is going to be the proud owner of. These are special cocktails that Rory's cooked up. Oh, He's yeah. going to be... He doesn't take any damage, but he will have four ablaze conditions. Damn. 
Um, yeah, I guess he'll take. He'll, I guess he'll take. He'll, kind of he'll take. He'll take. He'll take one wound. I'll. We'll say that. He'll take. They'll take just one wound, but then he'll take. Uh, he'll have four burning conditions. Right on. Yeah. Way to go, little buddy. Where's the next one, boss? Where's the next one? As he's looking around. Um, and all the gobbos are starting to... Easy. Seeing the giant ogre up here, and they're all burning. Uh, they're probably going to scatter as well. That's okay. All right. I would, I would like to think Nog has a reputation amongst the night gobbos, especially since they're more of their axes are filthy. It's true. Uh, that will bring me now to young Henry and his knights. <laughs> right. So there's a squad of 10. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, I will look back, see that Baudry and Nafar have taken arrows. Oh, okay. How do they look? Do they look... They they took a single wound. Okay. Um, Baudry looks okay. Uh, Nafar, um, I guess I, if they're wearing... Well, I guess they're not... They're, they're, they're like plate helm isn't down. It's just kind of like the chainmail helm. They don't have the full plate helm yeah. like you. You can see that he looks a little pale, but he's still he's still riding for now. He's okay. pro he, he, you, you probably get the idea that he's he's sweating profusely. He's probably poisoned. No, far can you make it? He's not, he just nods his head, grits his teeth, and raises his sword. All right. Well, I will turn back. It's on me, and we are going to charge. Charge! Squad, the squad of 10. Okay, um, horse combat is quite interesting. Um, no. so, so these are uh, infantry, equi mm -hmm. uh, the equivalent of infantry, so they're smaller than you. So <clears throat> you will get the access to the death blow rule. Um, Meaning that as you on the charge, you get you're going to get a plus twenty to your attack. Mm -hmm. You also get to double your strength bonus um, because they're a size smaller than you. You count as a large creature right now mm -hmm. um, for damage. If you kill um, a enemy in one swing, you can then make another attack towards another enemy as you charge through them. Um, if you ever fail to kill someone, though, then it then it, it stops. You kind of like lose yes. your momentum. Um, so I did take the shock cavalry trait okay. on my endeavor. Do, do you want me to read that to you? Yeah, go ahead and read it real fast. Okay. <clears throat> so it says, when making a charge, riders with this trait may move through smaller creatures to reach their target. Each creature the mount tramples must make God. a challenging dodge test or mm -hmm. suffer four plus the strength bonus damage of the mount mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what's your what's your uh, horse's uh strength bonus do you have i it? believe is it six they're pretty strong i think that was six or eight uh strength is a five so if that's the is five. that doubled or it would be because they're smaller than them okay yeah so it puts it at a 10. Yes. 10 plus plus four so 14 plus four. if they fail a dodge test oh god so so are you so the goal because our goblins okay, so what's your goal would be to to just trample them because i doubt oh. our swords can really just, like just reach trample down. trample trample as many as you can yes. now i will say go gobbos in in warhammer are not considered small right they're considered normal size so they're probably like I don't know, like four and a half feet tall or something. They're not—they're not like midget size, but they're not mm -hmm. huge either. So, there's also a second part to this. Uh, what's what's the second cavalry. part? So the second part is each creature that suffers damage in this way reduces the mount's movement by two yards. Oh, okay. Yeah, it bogs you uh, down. Mm -hmm. Yes, creatures of the mount's size or larger stop the progress, yep. and then the charge ends. Yes. Okay. And then I'm considered engaged. Okay. All right. So we're we're making a charge. Making um, a charge. Are you engaged? Congratulations. Let's see how many. How am I going to do this? How are you going to? How many are you going to try to run over? Uh, Henry would be form. I would tell him to, to form up, and Henry would form the tip of the spear. Yeah. Exactly. The 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 wedge. All right. 
Um, forget what the Bretonians see. call it. You are going to get three gobos that you're going to try to run down, okay. Henry. All right. So the first one is going to try to make a dodge roll, which their dodge isn't bad, but it's not really good yeah, either. They're, they're, they're little people. Yeah. Uh, the dodge isn't. It's not bad, but it's not good either, though. Okay. Dodge roll. Fail. That is goblin. A gobo trampled and killed underfoot because they will die from this instantaneously. Okay. So you run down the first one <laughs> and you just keep going. The horse just stamps him into the ground. Uh, third one fails miserably as well. This one very, very shortly after looks back, um, actually kind of like stops and like squeals uh, as one of the hoofs comes down on his head, squashing it, caving it in. The final gobbo does dodge out of the way. All right. He actually, he actually makes it. Uh, the third gobbo like tucks and rolls. Um, you're considered engaged with him. Yeah. If my if charge correctly, if my charge has it's reduced by two yards. Yeah. Per you could, you could keep creature. charging past this creature then, if you'd like. Yeah, that would be the plan. Is just run through him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 with the with the the amount of movement that your horse has, you just you you charge, you crush two of them, and just keep going. As this one dodges out of the way, um, I'm gonna roll for the rest of the gabo, the rest of the nearby gabos for your men to see if they don't get crushed. Dead, 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 alive, dead, dead 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 alive okay like four of them lived through this uh the rest of them are crushed underfoot from your squad <clears throat> riding through as you ride through them um you kill a vast number of them in a single charge and that's gonna be for henry stern and his knights yep that will bring me to Luther. What would you like to do, Luther? Um, so... Right now, it's just you Nog, and Lucien. Yeah, just Lucien and I. And Nog and uh, Henry are on the other side. No, no, now Henry is on the northern rim. Nog went to okay. the southern rim. Okay. Nog's up there. Uh, I mean, I can gallop up this this ridge. You will need to make a ride test, but yes, you can. Okay. Uh, and that will be my action. Um, essentially, what it'll do if you if you pass the test. You will get an action at the top. If not, you'll just be able to just make it to the top. Okay. I'm nervous, my goal will be high. That's up to you. you get, well, you'll you'll still just end up there. You just won't get to do anything yourself. Okay. Lucien does have a held action though. Yeah. Uh, as I. Um. About to gallop up. I'll tell Lucien. Be careful, Felicity spooks easily. As I look towards his gun, as I see him kind of holstering it. Um, she's a delicate, a delicate mare. Um, and, uh, and so, yes, um, uh, I will leave that at that. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're going to try to gallop up. Okay. And join Nog up at the, the ridge there. Give me a ride, a ride roll, please. Here we go. Oh, baby, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, 25, succeed. not bad, not bad. Yeah. Couple of success. Okay, okay. Uh, no problem. Okay. Luther, you're able to move up uh, move up the, the steep incline. Charge your, your mount, is what Lucian behind your back, up to the top. 
Um, as you get to the to the top, you see there. This is just a field of burning gabos. Everywhere there is flames. And flames, uh, you say? There are flames. You're excited immediately, Luther. But yes. you want to know who's not excited? The delicate mount that you're riding, who immediately <laughs> rears up. <laughs> and I need you With to make a another ride test since you another have not. Another ride test? I just had such a successful one. You, you know have I mean? not broken your mount to not be afraid of fire, Luther. I'm going to fail this one. I do fail! Oh. Yes, you do, Luther. I'm going to reroll! Here, reroll it. Go ahead and reroll it. Again. Oh. Five, even worse. Even worse. I love it. Oh. I'll tell you what, Luther. You know, maybe, maybe you know, there's some intervention that takes place. The dark intervention. And perhaps your your mount suddenly suddenly un inexplicably calms down and doesn't throw you and Lucian off the side of this ravine down towards the bottom tumbling, possibly smacking your head on rocks on the way down mm. and maybe you're just okay mm. and you, you tank one point of corruption mm. one point of corruption I need to look at my corruption level right now don't do it do it it's always better to take it And the corruption stuff is what? How do you calculate corruption again? As far as like it uh, is bonus plus your willpower bonus. Yes, yeah, both of those added together. Once you meet it, you have to make a test, and if you fail the test, then you mutate. Oh, well, I only have two. Oh, I'll take a third point of corruption. Oh. Oh. Yes, I'll take a third point of corruption. As there's a a uh, a strange emanation from the pendant on your chest, Luther. The broken, twisted metal almost like radiates a, a, a heat suddenly, and your horse, as it looks like it's going to rear up. Lucian, you brace yourself as you felt this before just moments ago, <laughs> as you're like, oh no! And as it does, it suddenly calms in the presence of even all these dancing flames as a flaming goblo like runs within inches of the horse just ah! <laughs> burning me around here and you're free to take your turn Luther I think for safety purposes I'll say Lucien I believe we should dismount and uh I'm gonna dismount <laughs> okay. not tempting fate you know mm -hmm. Um, I will then saunter up a little bit, and uh, how saunter. how I need to ask. Yes, this is important. Yes, it is. How many? Oh my God! How many goblins are on fire? A lot. A blaze. Yes. Um, a ton. You know, within uh, fifty feet of me. A lot. I need to know specifics. I am not giving you specifics, damn it! <laughs> what do you? Stop trying! Stop trying to bait me! It increases it's more than power. ten. Is it? Is it? It is, is it, it, it is more than ten. Yes. Oh, wow! That changes things. I. Oh my god! I. I I'm gonna make a roll. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna cast a spell. Immediately, not even know. Don't even need to charge it up. No, not with ten blaze oh, conditions around me. I, I, I don't need to. I, I'm going to. Um, I think I'm going to cast. Oh, that could be good too. On a, on a nog. Does nog go next? No, goblins no. go next. The goblins That's go problem. next. I am going to cast Sanguine Swords. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh. We're going to see what the roll is. Okay. I have one success level for my firebomb, and then, <laughs> you know, my close, which reduces the challenge rating for it, and then 
Okay. My uh, staff gets me an extra one, and then all the yes. ablaze conditions. Yes. Rolling. Oh shit. A two. Um. Ooh. Something happens. Um, what is what is happening right now? I need I need to do some calculations. Quiet. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> I need to math. You have to contact, you know, NASA to do a supercomputer calculation for this game. Do some calculations. I need, I need, I need, I need to do some calculations here. We'll take a short yeah. break. We'll be right back. Ridiculous. Short break. <laughs> no. Uh, We're not doing I a short will, break. Uh... Damn it. You finish, <laughs> you finish your damn calculations. Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Okay. Yeah. Morphum is just dying in the bottom of a hole. No one cares about him. Oh. <laughs> you guys are running around killing God. Uh, you guys are leaving me. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. Yes. <laughs> well, from who? I don't even know All he's right. gone yet. So much has happened. So, um, I will be creating thick swords. Um, okay. Um, they. This is what they will do. Um, I summon. Um, an extra sword for every um, two success levels. Oh my gosh. Um, I can only go to maximum of six, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately. Uh, on every subsequent round, um, or actually, it says this. Oh, sorry. Uh, you can uh, spend your action to direct the swords against targets within range and line of sight. Target mm -hmm. can only be attacked by one sword at a time, so they'll have to separate. Yeah. Um, the swords possess the fly 20 uh, creature trait. Mm -hmm. um, and they have a strike weapon skill of 60 and deal eight damage before returning quickly to you. Um, so okay. they kind of just like six swords, you know, yeah. come around me. Yeah, you make, you make, a, you make an attack uh, under 60, essentially. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's There are at least six gobos within range for this. I'll, I'll point them out as they, you know, go ahead go and out. go ahead and just do attack, it. So we'll just, see. just go ahead and let's go ahead and resolve those now. Okay. Um, it sounds like they resolve in the next turn, but we're just going to do it now. Okay. Uh, forty-six for the first one. All right. One success. Yeah, or that hit. is a fail. So, um, how much damage? Did you say uh, eight? It would be eight plus, you know, one success level. So, so nine, nine damage. Do they light them yeah. on fire? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say anything about lighting them on fire. Yeah, it was called sang sanguine sword. So I, mm -hmm. I don't think so. Yeah, is it, it, is it a usually blood stuff? Is it a I fire? I mean, it is a fire. It is a fire spell. It's a fire spell. Like, it's going to light them on fire. I don't care what it says. Okay. That's okay. Ridiculous. I mean, technically, that, if, if it says it doesn't, that's dumb. It should. The rules. The rules do. It's say a burning it's blade, a for God's sakes. Yeah. Yeah. It says if yeah. it's a fire spell. Okay. Quote yeah. unquote, that it lights them ablaze. So. Yeah. So um, eight damage plus they're lit on fire. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Carves into one of the gabos that was already damaged. Um, but it's, it's technically nine damage because. I had one success level. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that would kill it instantaneously. Make your next mm. attack, please. All right, next one up. I hate this. Well, that's I a fail. See. That's three failures. Okay, this this one manages to dodge. Dodge. Barely. Okay. Go ahead and roll your next one, please. Next one. Well, that's also a fail. Three failures. I have a, I have a critical, critical success. He stabs the magic blade. With his dagger, vulnerable. it does nothing. Yeah. <laughs> ah, damn it! <laughs> that's three, three, three rolls. Okay. Uh, that's one success. Uh, he is going to die instantaneously as well. Okay. And last one, I have a a, a single failure. Well, that's three failures again. A five. Ah, oh, you suck at rolling. What can I say? <laughs> I, yeah. I lost. Six it. attacks. Oh. Three gobos walk away. Mm. Sad, sad loser. Three, three and three, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. Three and three. Three and three. You, 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 as the swords lance out and begin to cut that down, they quickly move back to, like a, I imagine kind of like like 
angelically floating above you. You know what I'm mean? yes. like fanned out. Yes. Fanned out ahead of you know around mm-hmm. me. Yes, of course, indeed. These Luther these... Steinhauer has arrived. As you announce me? yourself. <laughs> yes. Um the goblins <laughs> are broken and terrified um at this point. It is their turn. Um uh, Henry. Still has an accent if he wanted to dismount from the horse. That's, that's true. That's true, Lucien. Would you want to take an action? Am I able to do that? Having sure. dismounted from the horse? Yes. Alright. Um and you can I've either shoot to... one or stab one. It's up to you. Uh is there one within stabbing range? There can be. Alright then. Let's let's do that. Let's do it. We'll see this one kind of my, my first choice. One kind of jumps over, springs out of uh, a little hidey hole. He can have some of this. Throw this. Oh, that's <laughs> not good, Lucien. That's not good. Damn it. Got, I, I have one degree of success on my on my dodge roll. What are you gonna do, Lucien? Let it let it let it let, it, let it slide. I'm gonna let it slide. I don't care. This gobbo slide. As a single goblin, as you, you pull, I'll get him next time. And you, you, you lunge and it goes, hey! dodges out of the way. I'm frazzled um, right now. However, the next uh, it is now the night gobbo's turn. As it is, the immediate so all the goblins that are burning are they they don't do much they're just kind of they're still trying to pat themselves out but it's not looking good they're about to die any of them that aren't um including the one that lucian you just tried to stab he's going to use he's going to burn all his momentum to disengage from you oh and you watch as it runs and as it's running you watch it like do like a like a dive off of a diving board and as it does it just goes in perfectly into what you couldn't see was a hole in the ground. Just <laughs> dives straight in, disappears into a small hole. The rest of them begin to do likewise. Like Bugs Bunny. Yes, like Bugs Bunny. And they all disappear. Mm. As they flee. The end of the yeah. I'm sorry. Well, well then. Well, just so you know, if any are still on fire, they take eight damage plus one. Well, they they definitely die at this point, Luther. They Good. They each had two. Yeah, I want left. I want someone to run and you know. They're all they're all burning to death. Um, you dealt uh, more than significant damage to the goblin ambush. They don't have the numbers to stay and fight. They are fleeing, and they're going in the tunnels that they were going to use to mess with you guys with, but they didn't get a chance to. So there I'd like we go. To throw a fireball in one just for good measure. Of course you do, Luther. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm down um, the Luther, for you, you. Huzzah! You throw a fireball inside of one. Um, Luther, why don't you give me a dodge roll so you don't blow yourself up? Okay. It's not, uh, you know, it's not like a straight shot down. Uh, twenty-three out of. Uh... 60. So, lucky, you lucky bastard. <laughs> oh. He goes, ah. and then you watch as you see it go in, Luther, and you're like, oh my. And you, oh my. you you dodge and roll out of the way, realizing it is not quite as deep as you thought. However, during the explosion, you watch as several of the holes are just in, just fire <laughs> shoots out of them, just <laughs> like go for holes. Yeah. A little, a little gobble body flies out of the side of a couple of them dead and crispy it nice. begins raining night goblins uh, as Luther has uh, he went fishing with dynamite Good. and uh, that that has further decimated their numbers uh, for the ambush as Henry wheels his horses back around uh, moving back to meet with the rest of you um, trying to determine your ultimate objective you hear the resonorous tone of the conch going off yet again. You're much closer. You're able to determine you're not very far away. 
that's where we're going to take our first break.